Okay, in this video we're going to apply some of the things that we've learned in this section to real-world problems. First of all, we have the this helicopter. It's a search and rescue crew. It's off of the shore, so we can kind of view this as a shoreline here where this is the land. And <clears throat> the helicopter wants to get to the shore in the shortest path. We know from geometry which you guys may not have learned just yet, but there is a theorem in geometry that says the shortest distance between a line and a point is a line segment from the point drawn perpendicular to the line. So what we really want is we want the equation of this red line such that the red line is perpendicular to the green line. <clears throat> now, um, let's talk about it. First of all, in problems like this, in the past, we've been given an original equation and a new point. But we don't have the equation of the green line. So what we're going to have to do is be a little e creative, and we're going to have to find some good points on the green line. I believe that 1, 3 is 1. And if I look down the line, probably the next good point is going to be 4, 1. And that would give us a slope of negative 2 over 3. So let's see. We'll go down 2, right 3. We hit the line again. Down 2, right 3. We hit the line again. <clears throat> so slope of the old m is that. And the new m, then, if we want to be perpendicular to that, would have to be positive 3 over 2. So let's see if we can find a good point on the red line. This appears to be a good point here. And if we were to go up 3, right 2, it looks like we hit it again. Up 3, right 2 brings us right to our point there. So all we need now is the equation of this new red line. And so we start with a point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And <clears throat> our y coordinate is 4, y minus 4. Our new slope is 3 halves. And x, the x coordinate is 14. So we begin y minus 4. We're going to multiply out 3 halves times x. Then 3 halves times negative 14 is negative 21. And we're simply going to add 4 on both sides. And we will end up with, sorry, it's a little better. We'll end up with y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 17. Now we can't tell exactly where this uh, red line is going to intersect the y-axis, but minus 17 looks reasonable there. So that is the equation that represents that path. All right, let's go on to the second part of this. Now, in the monitoring progress, it says in example five, which we just looked at, a boat is traveling parallel to the shoreline and passes through the point nine comma three. So nine comma three, we'll draw this in purple, would be roughly right about here. So the line is moving parallel to the shore, so it's going to move something like that. We want to write an equation that represents the path of the boat. Well, no problem. We know that it's going to be parallel, so the slope will be the same. So m will have to be negative 2 thirds, and our point will be 9 comma 3. So let's put that all together. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. <clears throat> y minus y1, we have y minus 3. 
is equal to negative 2 thirds times x minus 9. So y minus 3 is equal to negative 2 thirds x. Negative 2 thirds times negative 9 is positive 18 over 3 or positive 6. The only thing we need to do next is to add 3 to both sides. And we end up with y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 9. So the equation of the boat that is um, sailing parallel to the shoreline would be y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 9. Now we know it's parallel because the shoreline has a slope of negative 2 thirds. Now if we were to ask the new equation, new equation, when your x value is 9, what would your y value be? And so here we have negative 2 thirds times 9. That's negative 18 over 3 is negative 6 plus 9. It says my y value would be 3 when my x value is 9. So we have the point 9 comma 3, and that's the point that we want to pass through. So that is a double check there. All right, so that's going to do it for this video, and all that remains are the homework problems from this point.